an art historian. I'm very pleased to be able to give voice to Canada's black artists who have not been as large a part as they should be of Canada's art history. As a senator, I'm absolutely delighted to bring black artists' work to the Senate of Canada building. My name is Patricia Bovey and I have the great honor of being a senator representing Manitoba and one who was given the, the mantra of looking at everything the Senate does through the lens of arts and culture. Denise Thomasas is a very important, internationally renowned Trinidadian Canadian artist. Her work is stellar. And what drew me to this series is the very real energy of her brushwork. She gets the energy of the built urban center, the high rises, the garages, the movement from one to the other, looking forward with a futuristic energy, which I think really speaks well of Canada, of black Canadians and certainly of her work. This work by Tim Whiten and indeed Tim Whiten's overall oeuvre is, is, is stunning. What intrigues me about his work is that it is multimedia, putting together many, many techniques. Uh, he's got torn paper in this. He's got wonderful lines, wonderful calligraphy in that pieces. He's dyed the paper with coffee. Uh, there's a mirror in there which reflects us as we look at the work, but it brings the work to us in a, in a closer way and thereby giving a sense of energy and movement for the future. I hope all of us will take pride and take with seriousness the work and the voices of these two black Canadian artists and get a sense of the energy of these works and engage with them one-on-one. -on -one. I also hope that they'll see that there's a richness, especially if they look to our website and see the Yisa Akinbalaji and the Chantal Gibson works that we had last year, that we're beginning to tell a very big story. Mm -hmm.